tell my friends, look what came in the mail. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> this humongous box has my new 114th scale RC excavator inside here. I've been super pumped for this thing to come in. It is going to be definitely uh, something that's really going to change the channel here. Uh, as I'm getting more into the RC construction stuff, I had the two bulldozers already, and I feel like, you know, they're cool, but I need something that's going to be a digger. You know, I need something that digs, so I end up getting excavator. Now, I will tell you first off, this is not a hydraulic excavator. This is a step down from a hydraulic excavator. It's running off of uh, several actuators, motors, uh, so but it does it does it does have the power to dig. So we're gonna take a look at this thing, and I'm like, wow, and this thing is heavy too. And with my shoulder, it definitely is a chore to pick this thing up. But let's go ahead. We're gonna break out the old knife. We're gonna cut this thing up and look at it. One over here, we've got some tape over here. Oh. All right, moment of truth, let's look. Boom, 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 look at this. Woo! Yeah, I am super <laughs> amazed. So this is from a tongue, Tungya, Tungya, Tungya. If I pronounce that right, hopefully I did. But this is a Tungya 114 scale all metal excavator. It weighs 13 pounds. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of its digging power. If something weighs 13 pounds, it's going to be able to do something. Now, ah, I did order a few extra things for the excavator that I'm probably going to need. So, uh, and they actually shipped it along with it. So, let's get here, look what we got. I think, yes, yes it is. Oh, uh, look at this, my friends. Take a look at this. This is the Ripper. My phone always tends to go off when I'm filming. But look at this thing. It gives you the size of how big this vehicle kind of is. But that nice ripper, very nice, high quality. We'll take a look at that later on. But another thing that I ordered. Oh, look, it's a bucket. Look at that, my friends. So extra wide bucket for doing, you know, some grading or just getting extra loads of, of dirt, rocks, or whatever. Look, my hand, all right? Wow. <laughs> Metal, very nicely well done. I mean, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of gives you an idea. All right, so let's go ahead. Pull out the wrap paper. We don't need that. <laughs> we don't need that. So let me fix the camera there so you guys can see a little bit. All right, I might have got a little paper cut on that. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, oh, this is not, this is not light, it's heavy. Uh, box down, box is down. <laughs> All right, well, that's, that's, a, that's a painful thing on my shoulder there. So, yeah, <laughs> I might have to wheel this thing out to play with it. Uh, yeah, all right, so we got tape up here. We're going to cut the tape. Hopefully my blade is sharp enough. All right, friends, you do not, how, you do not know how exciting I am to, right now. To get something like this it's not every day that i get a you know super awesome vehicle it's very rare that i get to buy anything and when i do i try to make it worth the while you know so we're gonna have to pull this thing there's 
All right. We're going to go back to my little technique of how I usually do things. So we're going to flip it upside down. Boom. Look at the box for this thing. Oh, and it's heavy. I tell you, that's, that's, that's painful on my shoulder there. But the Tanya from uh, Hume, I can't ever pronounce this company. I've watched many, many videos on this excavator and all the other equipment they have. But uh, Hunana or Hunini or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll give you a uh, close up view of it. There you go. So. It's an RC die cast excavator model. So, yeah, nothing really on the uh, box here other than that nice excavator there. Uh, so, let's go ahead. Where's my knife at? We got some more tape we got to cut. I think we got some pieces up here we got to cut. All right, that's. They're not really there, super on there, but we got it. We got a nice little handle right there, stored in. Let's pull it out. It's like Christmas for me right now, my friends. <laughs> All right. Now let's see if we can. I might have to stand up for this one. Oh no! Don't want to do it on that shoulder. All right, so we got the styrofoam package here. Now we got our manual sheet. I see that. Let's see, buff up the, let's zoom up a little bit here. Excuse me, camera shaking, I'm trying to zoom it. There we go, all right. So we got our manual sheet right here. I'm definitely, definitely gonna be reading that. So there's the manual sheet for it, lets you know everything. Uh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> my friends, look at this. The company actually sent some cat decals for the excavator to make it look like a caterpillar excavator. Uh, 30, 33.6D. There you go. So that how cool is that? So them stickers are going to go in there and it's going to make it look like a cat vehicle. That's awesome. I like that fact that they did that. Now we got one, two, three. There's three boxes here. Now what is in the boxes? Your your guess is good as mine. I do know that this does come with three different attachment items, the bucket, a grabbler, and a uh, jackhammer type thing. So let's take a look at this. Let's see. Uh, we got tape. Everything's got tape on this thing. All right. Open it up. Number one. What is in number one? We have the grabbler. All right. So you got to put that together. Look at that. That is pretty cool. And metal, just like the rest of the components there. That's box one. I might save that box. It could be good for a good storage unit. Next thing, number two, we got more tape. Number two is, bum bum bum, the jackhammer. Look at that. It is crazy. That is big. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to break rocks or anything. It might chip some of it. It's got a really rounded end point there, so I don't think that's really going to do anything. Maybe I might have to sharpen that up, but uh, where is... Oh, okay. Somewhere I had the uh, 1 16th scale one, and I don't know where that is right now. <laughs> well, I definitely wanted to show that. That was a... a that would be a good comparison between these two. Where did I put it at? I put it somewhere up here. Where did I put it? Uh, ain't that something? When you're looking for something, you can't find it. That blows. But anyway, we'll show that later. Box three. What is in box three? Box two. 
in another box. <laughs> All right. You tell I'm having a lot of fun with this because uh, I'm super pumped you know, to get this vehicle and to have something that's going to dig. All right, we got a box full of goodies. What was all in here? All right. We got boxes of goodies. I'm not going to throw those boxes away. Uh, so first off, we have Tanya's business card with all the information on there. So if I need to contact them, I can do so. That's really nice of them. So we got a uh, little toolkit. I believe that's going to be for the attachment items to put them onto the uh, excavator. Now I did see they do have quick releases for this vehicle. So uh, they have a manual quick release and an automatic quick release. So that way you can connect it without having to unscrew the, the screws and stuff like that. Uh, they give you a nice little Phillips screwdriver. How about that? That's pretty nice. All right, put that to the side. We got a USB charger for the LiPo battery, which I'll talk about that here because that's coming up. Oh, we got one of our, uh, one of our pieces might have fell out the bag there. And, well, we'll put that back in there. Might need that. All right, so the battery. We got a 7.4 volt, 2000 milliamp LiPo battery. Look at that, you see? And I believe that connection is a uh, XT30. So might wanna probably put a Dean's end on it. You know, that way I can charge it up to my uh, charger, to my quick charger, so it'll be a lot faster on the charging time. But actually, I mean, honestly, these U USB chargers are not that bad. Um, I don't really tell a difference, you know, it's charging time. It says about two to three hours, but uh, it's really about if you have a fast charger or, you know, if you have, you know, if it's a fast charger, this one that does input, uh, in, input of five volts, one dash two amps. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so let's turn this around. Nothing else. All right. You might ready my friends I'm ready for it uh, I, I definitely want to see this thing ready here we go hang on all right my friends you guys are gonna love this let me bring the camera up just a little closer I know you don't want to see my ugly face all right so here we go. All right. Ready? Ready? <laughs> it's so heavy, it tipped the box over. Oh, look at this. Holy cow, my friends. All right. We're going to remove this thing out. Oh. Uh, we got the controller. Check out the controller. Looks like another one of these uh, PS2 kind of type controllers. This is a 23 channel excavator. Uh, so that's a lot of channels. <laughs> but uh, you know, look at this. We got buttons there, buttons there, buttons there, buttons there, buttons up here. Uh, we got this nice little fancy LDC, uh, LCD screen that gives you the, the timing. It also shows you the, uh, the battery life of the remote and the vehicle itself so that is really cool so let me adjust the camera just a little bit for y'all so we can get a better view of this thing all right actually wouldn't be better to take the camera off the tripod i think so let's let's do this so sorry i'm shaking y'all around all right let's go ahead and do this all right so we got to all right all right all right dude. all right so look at it my friends holy cow this thing is amazing like i said it's all metal I'm trying to straighten up my mic here my mic's all over the place I'm trying to get back in its little groovy area not what i wanted to happen on camera here but 
it is what it is but boy so just to show y'all solid metal everything on this thing is metal other than no that's metal too i thought that would might have been plastic metal tracks look at the tracks my friend if we can get the camera to focus crazy all right look up here now this does have uh lights sound effects smoke unit on the back of it that's where that little right here is that is the smoke unit uh crazy my friends whoo i really really am digging this my friends really am so like i said this is not a hydraulic excavator this is basically running off of what they call server actuators or screw screw type things so basically up here, there is a motor and inside the shaft right here is like a little screw that goes in, it goes out and then goes in and that's how it gets his power to dig. Now this typical one right here can dig up to 1.1 cubic feet of dirt, rocks or sand. So roughly about a pound or so. Check out the bucket, my friends, the bucket I can basically fit my whole hand almost in there. And I have a pretty, you know, normal size hand, I, I believe. But yeah. So that kind of tells you how big that bucket is. We got some styrofoam on there. Uh, but just pure amazing. All right. So uh, right here, this is the battery department. There's, there's where you put the battery at. Or smoke unit right there so it puts out that little nice little smoke right there which uh, did not come with any oil on this one some of them I've seen it came with them some of it didn't I guess this one didn't get it but that's okay because I probably will not ever run it uh, battery department there so it <laughs> Wow crazy my friends this is really really super nice Check out the bucket, the arm, the boom, all that good stuff. Ah, I can't wait to get this thing out and start doing some digging and building up the construction site a little bit. This is definitely going to be a lot of fun. So, my friends, I took up enough, I took up enough of your time. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and I will do another video showing it in operation. So, hopefully, y'all will stick a stick with me in that upcoming video so make sure that you subscribe to the channel click that notification button so that way you'll know when i upload the video of the tonga tonga <laughs> rc excavator here so uh yeah so the next video will be me just testing it out and stuff like that so all right with that being said my friends i will see y'all later Oh, <laughs> I hit the camera. <laughs> I hit the excavator with the camera. <laughs> Later. <laughs>